gonna make you a world with these two hands today Put our love, memories and laughs in all that I create Today I've got a quick home decor project for St. Patrick's Day. You'll need a picture frame, a piece of cardstock large enough to fit inside the frame, a black pen such as a micron, and a copper pen touch marker. You'll also need several pennies from years that are significant to you, a hot glue gun, and a pencil and ruler. Start by trimming your paper to fit within the frame. Use the ruler and pencil to draw a baseline for your letters to sit on. Sketch out the word lucky. I'm keeping it simple with sans serif block letters. Next, draw a box for each penny. Try to space these evenly. Color in the word lucky with a copper pen touch. This pen has metallic ink that looks great beside the pennies. I'm gonna make you a world with these two hands today. Put our love, memories, and laughs in all that I create. I can't help feeling inspired whenever you smile. Gotta show you that not for reason. I don't, 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 don't feel afraid to innovate. Don't, 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 don't miss a chance to be creative. Don't, 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 don't try this at home. Try this at home. Trace the boxes with the black pen. Add a dab of hot glue to each box and attach the pennies in chronological order. You might want to consider adding pennies for birthdays, anniversaries, a graduation, new job, or first house. Add a label within each box. This project only took 15 minutes from start to finish, and I think will look great for St. Patrick's Day. Learn more about pen touch markers at sakuraofamerica.com. For more great DIY projects, check out Style Hall's YouTube Partnership Network. For hundreds more crafting tutorials, visit my website, madebymarzipan.com. Try this at home.